we're speaking to the Deputy Executive Dean of UNISA's College of Education, Professor Veronica McKay, about community engagement and the importance thereof. Thank you for joining us, Professor. Hi. So, can you speak to us about UNISA's ethos? It's towards the African University in service of humanity. What does that mean? I, I think the service of humanity refers specifically to our role um, in communities and to our, our, our social mandate. As a university, we have a social mandate to, to work towards the social good. So in addition to our teaching, which is one of our core components, um, our academics are also required to do research. And the third leg upon which we stand, and which is a mandatory leg, um, which is part of our legislative mandate, is to focus on communities, to work with communities for the social good. And I think that refers specifically to our, our role in community engagement and to our social mandate. We are the largest um, higher education institution in Africa and our social mandate refers to the role that we play in, in servicing communities beyond the service that we provide as, as academic researchers and as academic teachers. The focus is on disadvantaged communities usually and um, one looks at the, the kinds of needs of, of different communities. Professor, you've spoken quite extensively on why community engagement projects are vital. So how does one get a community engagement project off the ground? Within the university, we have um, very strict protocols for how to begin a community engagement project and for the, the direction that the project must take. For example, it needs to speak to our own national development goals, it needs to um, speak directly to the millennium development goals and we're going now into the next set of millennium goals. Um, so the, within the college a project has to comply with a range of criteria but often we are approached by schools um, or by the community itself um, to, to ind where they indicate that there's a specific problem that they would like us as a university to, to address. And the, the, the project would have to be, the, the, there will be a reciprocal uh, relationship because obviously we want to be able to do our research in the area. We also want to contribute to the generation of knowledge around a particular problem. But usually if we're approached by a by community, we consider the project, we consider whether the, um, the um, interaction is viable for both the, the community and ourselves. We look at possible risks. Are there going to be risks in the community? For example, if the project um, entails perhaps working um, in communities with, with school violence or with drugs, is there a risk for ourselves? Is there a risk for communities um, for, for such a project to be, to be um, engaged in and once we've looked at the project proposal and we know that we have academics to match the particular skills that the project want we then f establish a relationship with the community and often a, a memorandum of understanding is compiled as to what we would contribute what kinds of skills and resources that community would contribute and often the resources could be the own knowledge base, um, we would do a mapping exercise to find out what kinds of skills are available in that community, organizational skills, being able to facilitate meetings and being able to, to accommodate ourselves. And once we've established that agreement, we apply to the university for funding and usually our projects, we, we try to have a sustained project for about three years at a time and usually our budgets go through without a problem and then the project is established in that way. Thank you very much for joining us today.